In this tutorial we will discuss voltimetry. Voltimetry is an electrochemical method that is based upon measurement of current as a function of potential applied to the electrode. It involves the study of potential current relationship in an electrochemical cell by controlling the potential in the cell and measuring current. In voltimetry, a controlled potential is applied in an electrochemical cell and resulting current is measured as a function of potential. Thus obtained current potential plot is known as voltammogram. Voltimetry is a technique used to detect neurochemicals capable of undergoing oxidation reactions. A simple illustration of voltimetry is shown in the figure which includes, working electrode, auxiliary or counter electrode, reference electrode, an electrochemical system containing electrolyte solution, electrode connections, etc., and you can see there are holes for degassing which is used to add reagent to the electrochemical system and it is capped by Teflon cap. Voltametric methods Depending on the type of potential signal, many voltametric methods of the analytical importance are available. And they are Linear sweep voltimetry In linear sweep voltimetry, the potential of the working electrode is ramped from an initial potential EI to a final potential EF. The linear sweep voltammogram for normal polarography is shown here. The manner in which direct current DC, potential of the indicator electrode varies with time is a potential ramp or voltage ramp. In linear sweep voltimetry the potential varies linearly with time. Triangular wave voltimetry or cyclic voltimetry during cyclic voltimetry, the potential is similarly ramped from an initial potential EI but at the end of its linear sweep, the direction of the potential scan is reversed, usually stopping at the initial potential EI. The potential at which reverse occurs is known as switch potential E lambda. Almost, universally, the scan rate between initial potential EI and switch potential E lambda is the same as that between switch potential E lambda and initial potential EI values of the scan rates forward potential and backward potential are always written as positive numbers. Potential ramp for cyclic voltimetry is shown in the figure. Polarogram response signal shows a voltammogram for a simple solution phase couple such a plot is known as a cyclic voltammogram. The cyclic voltammogram form a closed loop within the plot. It has a current peak on the forward scan and a second, inverted peak on the reverse scan representing the opposite reaction that is oxidation and reduction to that observed on the forward scan. Cyclic voltimetry is a form of triangular wave voltimetry in which more than one cycle of forward and reverse scan is successfully completed. There is seen to be a peak formed in both the forward and reverse sides of the cyclic voltammogram. These peaks are of similar shape and, if fully reversible, their magnitudes would be identical. Oxidation has occurred during the forward part of voltammogram, with reduction taking place during the reverse part. If the scan was going negative from initial potential EI, then reduction would occur during the forward part of the scan, and oxidation during the reverse. At the completion of the voltammogram, when the potential has returned to initial potential EI, there is still a slight current, indicating that a small amount of material has still not been reduced. This slight residual current would dissipate to zero if we were to force the potential of the electrode to more negative potential beyond initial potential EI. AC voltimetry During AC voltimetry an alternating potential is added to the DC potential ramp used for linear sweep voltimetry LSV. Only the AC portion of the total current is measured and plotted as a function of the DC potential portion of the potential ramp. Because a flow of an alternating current requires the electrochemical reaction to occur in the forward and reverse directions, AC voltimetry is particularly useful for studying the extent to which electrochemical reactions are reversible. Differential pulse voltimetry Differential pulse voltimetry adds a periodically applied potential pulse that is temporary increase in potential to the voltage ramp used for linear sweep voltimetry LSV. The current is measured prior to application of the pulse and at the end of the applied pulse. The difference between the two current is plotted as a function of the linear sweep voltimetry LSV ramp applied. In the figure you can see clearly, pulse duration, pulse amplitude, pulse period, pulse step. We can get a lot of information from this illustration. 
I have made next separate video on this topic in details you can visit that also. Pulse Voltimetry Pulse voltimetry utilizes a regularly increasing pulse height that is applied at periodic intervals. In differential pulse and pulse voltimetry, voltammogram is a plot of the measured current and potential. In this figure also you can see clearly, quiet time, pulse width, pulse period, pulse step. A pulse is a very short-lived signal. The normal pulse polarography is shown in the figure.